Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hubby Kim Plays Pokemon Reborn. This is also Pew Raichu and it seems to me we are kind of stuck in the dark so uh... Yeah... Wow, this is so spooky. Well, um, I guess that uh... We should uh, probably get going, huh? I mean, this is a pretty uh, spooky place and uh, you know, I would prefer light myself but it is quite dark in here. And uh... Whoa, it just, okay. Oh, the music came up and then it kind of went back out. Oh, uh, there it is again, and uh, it seems to me that we are exiting this area right here, and, uh, huh, okay, so let's be exiting right over here, and, whoa, who's that? Well met, young master, please follow me. I have already secured an escape route from our assailants. This way, swiftly. I don't trust him. <laughs> I really don't. As they say, checkmate. But surely you are not surprised. Indeed, I am not, nor was I ever, any such servant to the estate. To believe as much, one would have been even blinder than I was. And yet the swine Radimus is no fool. Why then, knowing that I was indeed not fully hypnotized, should he allow me into his estate? But he behaved, yeah, but he believed he had a brain. Washed me in the same way he did to my daughter, and so become easier to reclaim her. Of course I'll suffer none to stand in my way. That means you, June. Though it's hardly only it's hardly only in my way you've been now if I can't read this text Ah he wants to eradicate us and Needle King's like June they caught Luna They should have captured you as well. Yeah well I don't go down without a fight. Or at least some sweet talk first. Your, lectures imp your lecherous implications only condemn you further. Do you believe that the two of you together can best me? Want to find out? Not mistake my little experiment of drawing our Lord Arceus, Arceus's power at its own ability. Your own ability doesn't matter right now. I know what I gotta do, because I know that Jean June's team is all messed up from that gym battle. That's why you waited to act until now. So I'll fight you myself. June surpassed me a long time ago. So even if I do lose, it doesn't matter, right? So you go on, June. I'll hold him up. Cool. How noble a sacrifice. You know who I am, don't you? Yep, I figured it out. You're the one... You're one of the elite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the elite, huh? Dang. Well, that's pretty deep. Alright, so... Oh, man, there are goons hidden everywhere. Where can we go? Not that way. Nope, I'll go this way. <gasps> Hold it right there! Was that convincing? And it's Radimus! Wow! That's pretty awesome! Now quickly, follow me! I cannot stay long, but allow me to leave you with this. Firstly, as you must have heard, they captured Luna, and fortunately, I had not the foresight to teach Luna to teleport as well. <laughs> teleport! Man, she trains dark types. There's no dark type that can teleport. Or at least I think there's not. Hmm. Actually... Sometimes wrong can be right, so walk between the lines. Man, this this guy is so good at teleporting, I swear. And you know what the funny thing is? We can ride our bike upon the maze. This is pretty amazing! <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to stop. Why should I why did I say such a thing? Oh man, it was absolutely moronic. Ah that's alright. And I'm out of there. Later, Looney Tunes. All right, cool. So where do we go next? We escape them. We run away. We... We don't even. I like don't evening. All right. Oh, man. We got to escape. We got to tell someone. Who do we go to? I don't remember, actually. Oh, actually, guys, now that we are here... Now that we're here... I think that I could do one backtracking, one backtracking thing. I mean, you know, backtracking is annoying and stuff like that, but you know, it is definitely sometimes necessary because there is a uh, there's a certain Pokemon around here. There's a certain Pokemon, or well, a certain item first. There are two Pokemon that we can get from doing this action. Hmm. Is it over here? Who knows? All right, let's just check it out. Actually, huh? Um, uh, nope. I think it's over here somewhere. Is it this one? Please be this one. 
Man, the Azarine Forest is incredibly laggy. Who would have thought? Alright, let's just keep going. I think I'll know where it is. It's somewhere around here. Aha! I found it! It's right here. Alright, let's pull out this, uh... Let's pull out this charm right here. And the Pokemon we get... Flabebe! Ah, Such an adorable little thing. Flabebe is cute, adorable, fluffy, and is a special defensive wall. Well, water gem. So yeah, guys, without further ado, I think that it is time for us to capture this guy. Alright, let's go! One, two, three... Bam! Flabebe is ours! Nice. Alright, so the name that you shall be getting is... The Beebs. Alright, nice. Alright, so the Beebs is awesome. But, guys, if we go all the way over here through this meadow, we find the Oddish Weed. Now, this item is incredibly important if you want... Ah, crud. I did it again, didn't I? Hey, a black flower this time! Dang! Um, you know what? Let's capture this one, too. I don't mind wasting Dusk Balls, guys. It doesn't matter to me, anyways. Cool! That is awesome! Wow! Um... Alright, BB. Uh, you're, you're, yeah. Alright, cool. But yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> if you go over there, that Oddish Weed is going to be very important later on. So, if you don't get it, then you'd be sorry, because you can get a pretty cool Pokemon. Alright, so let's just actually exit out and, you know, go somewhere. Alright, over here, I guess. Uh... Well, since the Grand Gates are open, I think that we should be able to escape this area pretty quickly. Alright, let's go, go, go. Man, going to the left is pretty big. I wonder how many, like, tiles this map is. Is it 100 by 100? Who knows, because if it is, then that is pretty cool. Maybe it's, like, 100 by 30 or something, you know, like, being really wide. But then again, you could go down, like, really, really low and stuff like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, let's escape this- um... What the f- What- Oh! Thank goodness! It's a way to go- Okay, so this is a way of getting- Oh, thank you for adding that. Okay, so this uh, Tauros is a uh, is a way to get uh, you know to the ends of the area. Oh, that is so good. Thank God, that is awesome. Wow. So I wonder where you know Luna may be. So let's actually just check around, see what we could do. You know what? Let's just go stop by the Grand Hall over here, see what we can find. All right. But of course, let us go heal up our Pokemon and, you know, let's uh, bring in some new guys coming in. So on this, uh, oh, okay. I, I actually want to see the, the Flabebe's that I got. Trash. And trash. Okay. Okay, well, um, <laughs> uh, it's okay. You guys tried, right? They, they definitely tried. Uh, okay, so the next gym is going to be dark. Man, what can we do to fight against the darkness? Well, first off, we got De La Getz, Goongar, no. Um, you know what, Skippy? I think you're coming with me, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I want to keep the Toven. Uh, Fihiko, you did great, buddy, but I think we need to let in some other guys for this. Ah, rocks! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, guys, we got our team for the next battle. Isn't that great? Uh, big fan... Ah, Maxwell. He's level 63, so the level cap is 65, I believe. Hold on, let me just check my thing real quick. Yep, it is level 65. Maxwell's level 63! Oops. Man. Actually, I wanna... 
I'm gonna see what I can do over here. You know, let me just. Uh, huh. I already knew that. Look at this man. Silfsko. Silfsko! Alright. Um, I'm assuming that we need to find where 7th Street is right away, so I'm actually gonna go to that area real quick. Maybe we need to go up there. Well, of course, there's probably going to be a lot of new trainers coming out as well, because, you know, why wouldn't they do that? But since the level cap is level 65, this is terror bad for my guys, because, you know, they're a bit underleveled. But that is no problem. It doesn't matter to me anyways. What the heck? Do none of you guys want to battle? Did I already battle you guys? I guess I already battled them. Oh, my throat. Ugh! Okay. So let's go right over here. See where 7th Street is at. But, yeah, you know, I'm just going to talk to my gang leader real quick. 7th Street. Yep, it's not a normal street. But the, it's, yeah, it's the black market. So we just need to go to, oh my goodness, man. Why do you have so much stuff here? You got a little trubby trub, a little shiny trubbish. You think I care about you? Look at Skippy real quick. Look at Skippy. I don't care about you, buddy. Most people would be ecstatic for this, but you know what? Everybody has this. In fact, I have, I think I have a shiny trubbish on like every of my files and stuff like that and stuff like that, so. Yeah. A waste of potential of a shiny Pokemon I could have gotten. Alright, I'm just kidding. Alright, so let's go right here and, uh. I'm afraid you'll have to leave now. Uh, I didn't do anything. What, what are you talking about? I'm just kidding. Maybe it's this one. Fortunately, I've been informed that you're a new resident, so let's go right on ahead. So now. Hey, Manny, hey, buddy, where you want to go? We're going to go down 7th Street. Not a problem, bro, down 7th it is. <sighs> Alright, guys, so this is going to be a new area. Welcome to 7th Street, the black market. Dude, you want to give me some cash? I need a fix. Got purple shards. We definitely need a lot of shards in this area right now. Common candy, good, good. What's up? Ability capsules. This one goes for two shards. Uh, let's see how many red shards I have, actually. Uh, can I sort this? Um, how do I sort this? Can I not sort this? Uh, let's see. Red shard, red shard, red shard. Where are my red shards? Did I pass them? I think I passed them. No! I have 25. Okay, that's good. Sup. Oh. Even in its death, I will show you the true power of the Magma Gang. Wait, weren't these guys like the old members of... Yeah, there's Darm! Hey, what's up, dude? Alright, we got Skippy coming out. Skippy definitely needs some training, buddy. Foul play, don't have any attack. <laughs> Get him up with that earthquake, take him out. My goodness, man. This place... Alright, next up is Darmanitan. This guy's gonna take me out. Taunt? Why are you taunting me, brah? Got a freaking Swamper right in front of you. Alright, next up. Got another Darmanitan. Man, this guy. Hammer arm. Is that gonna take me out? It's gonna do a lot. Not gonna take me out. Alright, hit him up with that Earthquake. Later, buddy. Alright, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. I love this area. You are strong indeed. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey, kid, you want to teach your Pokemon special moves? Look what you got. Got Gastro Acid, Iron Defense, Snore, Bind, Helping Hand, Skill Swap, Role Play. Anytime, kid. Hey, some special techniques. We got Spite, Where You Seed, Magic Code, Trick, Block, Magnet Rise, Recycle. Nah. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up? You getting hype on the levels ups? Huh, why not? I was looking for someone to do anything. I mean, wait a second. It's Dude, I didn't see a girl, but there's this weird guy running around here a moment ago, I think. He's running towards the junk dealer if you want to catch him. Oh, what's up? Dude, the Butterfree are so, like, lackadaisical. Totally just morphed into that beam. <laughs> oh, man. Street Rat Kevin. Got Nidorina. I got Skippy. This is, like, the perfect place for Skippy to train, which is awesome. Hit him up with that Earthquake. Take out Nidorina. Man, I like Swampert. Everybody be like, hey, I want a Swampert. But, oh, man. 
If only I could have more than one starter, and then I'd be like, Psh, you guys are noobs! You can get all the starters! In fact, you get so many starters down here, it's actually kind of funny. Alright, hit, hit him up with that high jump kick. In fact, I think I should tell you guys uh, what types of starters you can get to that you can get down here. So, you know, as we're going, going through the story, there's a bunch of, uh... I don't rare candies. Spare candy. All these men are so creepy. Buy something. Huh? You're looking for that weird guy? Yeah, I gypped him. Maybe ask around. That's it. Buy something! Alright, let's see. Alright, so one thing that we should buy is this soul candle. This light ball. Uh, huh. Hmm. And this charcoal. Freaking awesome, guys! There's a lot of cool stuff. Well met, June. Now, how do you find business down here? Personally, I managed to make a pretty penny. Alright, so, let's see what we got over here. Rare candy, ever heard of it? So you uh, yeah, you make shards and stuff like that. And this guy sells you some blast powder. Thank you, de facto. Let's actually buy one of these. Oh, uh, there's a dude up there. Do you see that? <laughs> Miserable, loud, pathetic inventory. If this is what you got, you'd be ashamed of him. Yeah. He's just like, screw you! Oh, it's you! I should have known I'd see a lowlife scum like you lollygagging around here. Go look at me, criminal swine. You aren't worth my breath. Driveling mucus with every step. Ah. Uh, wow. Quite the mouth that one she's got. Perhaps, unfortunately, the street savvy aren't the only ones with the influence down here. Yep, Crodberry, she just goes down here, grabs all the Pokémon she can, and she's freaking stupid, and she needs to calm down. I would agree. Pokémon psychology. Now, guys, this is one of the best places ever. This guy, he will change the nature of your Pokémon. Freaking awesome! If I do say so myself. So, you got that, uh, what is it? So, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Yo, you got that Swampert with Calm Nature, you want Adamant, boom! Go right into that area, and then soft reset a couple of times, and you got yourself an Adamant Swampert. It's everything that you need. Alright, anyways, the, the starters that you can get down here. Now, of course, like from before, you can get a lot of starters everywhere. Uh, the first three that you can get, of course, were the Chikorita, well, of course, the, your, your starter. And then after that, uh, after your fifth badge, you can get uh, three starter Pokemons, that's the Chikorita the Tepig, and the Mudkip that you can get. Also, now that we have access to this area, we have access to three more starters. One of them is the Cyndaquil. Remember the Cyndaquil from the Cage Puzzle? Yep, you may buy that Cyndaquil for the shards. You just pay them shards, and then you got yourself a Cyndaquil. Freaking awesome, am I right, guys? And you took me out. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Alright, there's another Pokemon that you can get down here. It is a Piplup. Piplup can be found down in this area. You just need to find a rare candy. Yep, that's right, guys. A rare candy. Now, this rare candy is a bit tough to get. But if you get it, then you got yourself a Piplup. You just need to do a bunch of backtracking and you're good. The last Pokemon that you can d get down here is, I believe... A chest bin. Now there is a lady that shows up over here, and she is trying to find some medicine and stuff like that, but yeah. Hey stranger. I don't want after me. You're a numb nut. Let's see what we got. We got after you, snatch, magic room, wonder room, gravity, cavet, and electro web. Nothing that I could use. Alright, over here is the watering hole, by the way, guys, so let's just uh, go over here. Now, of course, because I am a great Samaritan, I think I'm going to rescue all the Pokemon that helped me escape, because everybody's awesome, everybody's cool, when you're part of a team, everything is awesome when we're living our dreams. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, let's, uh, yeah, let's go pick up some Pokemon, shall we? This PC seems really shady, if you know what I mean. I don't know why. I feel like I'm dumping my Pokemon into Team Meteor's hands, but whatever. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go get some Pokemon, guys. I'm gonna be soft setting as well, if, if in case I get, you know, a good Pokemon. That guy's on the roof! Can I talk to him? Jump! Jump down, I'll catch you! 
Alright, anyways, let's go over here. Find my little shop. All these Pokemon are straight up for sale. Right, you got the shards for them. I uh, straight confidentially, whatnot. I ain't telling you where I got them, and I ain't telling where I sell them. So, look around, why don't you? Howdy there, I've got a special deal. I've got a super rare and powerful Pokemon committed, but sold in the gangs on the surface for this price of two blue shards. This mysterious rare Pokemon can be all yours. What do you say? Sold! Don't mind if I do. Voila, I am Corn Rogue, the dashing rogue. But ah, my fair lady, I knew not twas you. Whom I sought from the... From the... From the... Wait for me, angels, for regret shall be undoing, or perhaps not. Or, oh my god. It was not to be. Our paths are too different, my lady. Our future is too vast. But I hope that one day you will think of me as I shall view. Adieu. Well, that sucks. <laughs> no refund. Alright, so we definitely need to find that guy. But that is alright. Now guys, what we can do here... I'm gonna save up. Remember all the Pokémon? Yup, let's go get them. Now first off, we got Cyndaquil. Nine red shards. Got Cyndaquil. Uh, let's name him Cinders. Alright, let's see. I don't mind soft resetting. I... I... You know what? We'll take you. Cinders, you're good. You got 31 in purple shard. Thanks, man. You know what? Cinders, you're awesome. Cinders... Eh. Alright, let's save. Next up, we got this Jigglypuff. Name you Gigglepuff. Alright, let's see what Gigglepuff has over here. Ah. Oh. I'm so ashamed. Gigglepuff, please do me better. Do me better. Because Gigglepuff is actually... It's actually one of uh, Savali's favorite Pokemon, and I might want to use one of these. Alright, let's see. Gigglepuff. Adamant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Ah! This is terrifying, man. I will stay here forever until I get, like, the best Pokemon there is. Uh, on my other game, actually, oh, giggle poof, but you know, on my other game, I have a uh, shiny Jigglypuff. That could be better. I have a shiny Jigglypuff on my other one, and it is blue, like a Martian. Don't be nervous. I'll be your best friend. Let's see, Jigglypuff, female, adamant. You know what? You got 31 in attack. That's that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You're good. Gigglepuff's good. All right. Over here we got a Makuhita. You can get Makuhita normally in the game, but you know I didn't choose to get one. So yep. This guy's name is Sumo. All right. Let's see what you got, Sumo. Level 40. Dang man. That's good enough, actually. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Nice. I like what I got. Next up over here we got Abra. Abra. Oh my goodness. Eight purple shards. Oh my gosh. No, come on, come on, Abra. You could do better than that. We could do this, right guys? Uh, you know, I'll just uh, give it the original name that it got before. Its name is Sleeper. And Sleeper was probably the reason why this game, why, uh, you know, I was, I was really successful through the game, and BOOM! We got ourselves a Sleeper! Freaking awesome. Alright, so let's get this Rock and Rolla, shall we? Alright. Oh god! Oh, what did I eat? Alright, we got Roll, the Rock and Rolla. Adamant could be better. These Pokemon are going to be strong and powerful. I know you can get Rock and Rolla anywhere, but you know, these guys are special. So, let's see. Maybe it's a female, because Roll would make sense for. Oh well. 
I like it. I like it, guys. I like it. You know what, guys? I think I'll be ending the video right around here. On the next episode of Pokemon Reborn, we're going to be rescuing these other Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, guys. I'm going to be getting as much Pokemon as we can while we're down here. So, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.